Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retro Collectors. Today we're gonna to look at the four variant colors of the Retro Fighters Striker DC controller. A few months back, I did a video on the Striker DC, what I liked and disliked about the controller. Is it worth buying? If you're a Dreamcast fan, yes. It's very comfortable, suits the gameplay very, very well. It's got amazing features that many Dreamcast fans wanted, like a better analog stick, some great triggers, and a much better button layout. I backed this over on Kickstarter back when it first was announced and I do not look back. I absolutely love this controller. It's still plugged into my Dreamcast now and I use it daily when I play the Dreamcast. Now today we're gonna do an unboxing of the four other colors that came with it. I haven't seen them yet. I still have them in the box and I'm actually looking forward to unboxing it for you guys right now. I'm gonna open these up one at a time and I'm gonna showcase what they look like and how they feel compared to the standard Striker DC. So we're gonna open them up and separate them. The box is a lot smaller than the standard Striker DC box. So I don't know what to expect. Retro Fighters really did a fantastic job on the boxes. They made these a lot smaller. The boxes don't have the same quality feel as the standard Striker DC box but it does have the aesthetic look. So let's take a look at the blue one. I really wish they made a certain color and that's the yellow, just because it just, the yellow one looked so much nicer. First off, the Striker DC Retro Fighter stickers. So you're given a bunch of random items, quick start instructions, and a little keychain, which is always given away with their products and the standard FAQs. The blue controller looks fantastic, feels fantastic. It has a frosted blue glaze to it. It's not like a, a typical see-through controller, like much like the Dreamcast, standard Dreamcast controller. It's see-through where you can see the circuit board. This has a little bit of a glaze to it. If you do the comparison between the two, you could see that this has a slight glaze to it. And I do like that matte finish. Let's get into the next color. Now the green really love the packaging on the striker dc new keychain and i really love this green one this green one looks sharp so far of the two that i've opened this is my favorite one just the look of it looks fantastic the blue has a more of a matte look where you can't see the circuit board as much the green you can see it a little bit but it looks and feels fantastic. One issue I had with the Striker DC is that when you put a VMU into it, it would always lean back. And this doesn't have that issue. I don't know why the standard Striker DC had that issue. It's built the same. Just every time I put a VMU in the white one, it always fell back every single time the green not so much next up the black this is not like this clear blue and green this is a matte solid black much like the sega dreamcast sports edition controller this is just a plain old black and i do like this black a little bit more than the sega sports one just because I don't like the branding of the Sega Sports. I just like a plain black controller. And this one, it looks amazing. The blacked out face plate, blacked out buttons. They could have went with gray and their standard gray there, but they decided to go with the black and that looks amazing. This is probably gonna be my new go-to controller, to tell you the truth. And again, they could have gone with the gray backing like the other standard controllers, but they decided to go with an all black finish. It looks amazing unbelievable i stated the green was my favorite i changed my mind this black is definitely my favorite even with the black cord they could have gone with a standard gray but they decided to black everything out this is amazing this is such a good looking controller and last but not least altogether red has always been my favorite color it has like a burgundy tint to it and this one looks just as good as the blue and the green one with the gray backing the gray cord gray faceplate gray buttons in comparison to the black they look amazing 
absolutely amazing. The white was already a go-to anyways, and now I have four other colors to go along to see which color, depending on my mood. So now when four friends come over, they don't have to use the standard Dreamcast controller that typically many people don't like because how much it's uncomfortable and how much it cramps up fingers, especially on fighters. I'd like to thank Retro Fighters for sending out these review copies for me to actually test and put them through their paces. I absolutely love them. Thank you very much, Retro Fighters. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know which one of these four colors are your favorite in the comments down below. Thanks, guys.